Hey, what's up y'all? I'm Liv. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first video ever, so thank you so much for watching. If you're what else, I am sorry. Like, why are you watching me? Like... <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Um, I started this because I had like a couple people ask me, literally a couple, like two people, only two people. They were like, they've seen my makeup looks and they're like, have you ever thought about starting a YouTube channel, doing a tutorial? And I was like, no, I haven't. And I obviously, being the person that I am, internalized that. It was like, oh my God, everyone I know is begging on their hands and knees for me to start a YouTube channel. Like, they need this. So if you want to learn how I do this really, like, dewy, summery, beachy kind of vibe, then keep on watching. Yeah, like, literally nobody asked for this. Honestly, people will probably, like, don't do this. Like, don't start a YouTube channel. First things first, you want to start off with a clean face. So I have already taken the steps. I've washed mine, exfoliated, moisturized. So I am all set. I've got my hair pulled back out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Benefit Professional Primer. I'm going to prime my face. So I usually just take like a small amount like this, warm it up between my fingertips, and just put it in my T-zone, just spots where I get oily. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes just so we can get all that out of the way. Um, I'm just using a Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. Uh, it's a very cheap drugstore primer, but it works great for me and I have really oily eyelids. So this is a really great affordable option. Just gonna warm that up between your fingertips and put it all over your eyelid. Prime those areas. And then I like to take the rest of whatever's left over on your fingers and just kind of push it into the eyebrow area just so your uh, your brow product has something to stick to and it has a good base so your brows don't slide around and I found that it makes my brows last 10 times longer. So I start off my makeup routine by doing my eyebrows. I like to just get that out of the way and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Whisk in dark brown and I like to use this and start off with like a light feathering stroke motion just so it gives your eyebrows like a natural look towards the front I just kind of flick up because I'm missing some hairs in here so I just like to fill that sparse area in gives it like a really nice like natural soft look but don't worry we will fix that natural looking brow in a minute completely make it look like it was drawn on with sharpie because that's kind of the vibe i go for not a natural bitch at all so now that we've got the front of the brows kind of lightly filled in nice and soft natural looking i like to go in with my anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade and i just use this and i like to dip into the pomade and kind of like mix it around on the lid so it's not so dark because this product is very pigmented and um it's really easy to just like go overboard and people make fun of you on instagram not speaking from personal experience and then i use my fingertips and i kind of just pinch it so it's like a sharp line and I start, I don't start at the very front of my brow. I leave this untouched. I start about right here, like a quarter of the way in and underline my whole brow. Now that we've got our brows on, uh, we're going to go ahead and conceal them just to sharpen them up. So I'm using my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill flat brush thing, JH43. So I'm going to go real makeup. 
And then I'm just going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in shade Porcelain. So now that our brows are nice and concealed, I'm going to go ahead and set them all day. Okay. Alright, so we've got our brows on. The most important part. I like to start with the eyes because I tend to fuck up a lot. And I mess up my eyes. I have to go in with like a makeup remover wipe. I just don't like, I just don't like having to like redo my work because I'm lazy. This palette changed my life and I want everyone to know that if you don't have it, that's really sad and you should have it. So first things first, um, whenever I am doing my eyeshadow, I personally like to start with a nice transition shade. Um, get it all set over the crease so nothing sticks weird to my primer because I am using a cheap drugstore primer. So I am going to use the shade Canvas. I'm just going to go kind of place this all over the lid. Now, um, some makeup artists uh, will do one eye and then the other and they're like, okay, yeah, let me show you how to do all this eye and then I'm going to go do this eye off camera. I have to do my eyes at the same time because I'm a dumb bitch and I forget things so like if I do a shade over here and if I don't like immediately put it on this eye like I'm gonna forget and then I'm gonna have like one eye be completely different than the other and I'm just gonna look like a dumb bitch because I am one. So now that we've placed this transition shade all over our lid go ahead and dip into some colors. So I'm dipping into shade Punch Me. I'm going to get that and I'm going to start closer to the crease. Place that color on there just so we can deepen this area. Give it some dimension. And I'm just gonna, oh shit. All right. Maybe not what I was, oh, oh my god. See, a look can go south so fast, but no need to fear. I can just blend this for like three hours and um, we're good, we'll see. Now that we have a nice little outline, um, it is time to so I'm gonna be going back in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Jade Porcelain. So I'm just using this cheap little Wet n Wild brush. Dip into that concealer, make sure that the brush is as flat as possible. I kind of just like pinch it flat. And then I'm just gonna go in and and I already fucked up. So I'm gonna go in shade with shade T. And if you have a steady hand, you won't need to do that step, but I don't. I'm always like shaking because I have like 30 red holes every morning because I have a problem. I'm twitching right now. And I have hooded eyes, so whenever I open my eyes, literally all my hard work disappears. So why I spend hours doing cut creases, I don't know. But then if you like look at me and I'm like talking at you from this angle, you're like, oh my god, her eyeshadow is like amazing. Look at that cut crease. And then I open my eyes and it's like, where'd it go? So I am going to use this cheap, terrible little... Thing that you get in like drugstore eyeshadow palettes um, and I'm gonna use that and dip into shade 518 which is this electric orange shade just pop that on there oh my god oh 
my god. Look at that pigmentation. So now that we've got our eyes done, we can go ahead and get started on the face. Um, personally, I like to use a concealer that's a shade or two lighter than your skin tone, just so you can have that brightening effect under your eyes, get rid of all those imperfections, and really give you a youthful, lifted look. But I use a shade that's like 30 shades lighter because I want it to look like I've had Botox at age 20. I think we're kind of going to go for like a... 2012 Kim K vibe, you know. Like I literally want it to look like I can't move my face. Like I want to be like, use a damp beauty sponge. I'm using the Real Tex, the Real Techniques one, because I'm poor and cannot afford a beauty blender. Shout out to Real Techniques though, because this shit works. I like to layer on more. I literally want it to look like I just like did some crack and I'm like, oh, I'm so awake. Like, I want it to be bright. And if you're wondering why I'm not putting on foundation first, um, I have this weird little technique where I don't wear foundation because I personally have really good skin. I just use concealer in the spots where I need it and like a lot of primer and it tends to work for me and I get like a really natural finish. Okay, so now that we have that concealer on, um, I'm gonna go ahead and set that. So I am using the uh, Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder. Um, I love this stuff. On all the spots where we put concealer. It really keeps your face matte without looking cakey like a lot of setting powders do. And I know people are like, oh, the Laura Mercier doesn't have flashback and it's great. Well, it's also fucking expensive and I am poor, so unless y'all want to buy it for me, we're going to stick to this. And I got that as a gift, so <laughs> that's why I have it. I can afford that. It's free. So now that we have all those spots set, it's time to contour, give ourselves some color, and it look a little scary. So I am using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit in uh, light to medium, and it's clearly bent to hell, and there's like dried lash glue on it because I'm disgusting. So we're just going to go in with this little brush here, a little brush, and I'm going to dip into this cool shade right here that I've hit pan in, and we're just going to give ourselves some cheekbones. So we're just going to go around the top of the forehead, make it look like we've had plastic surgery, chisel out these cheekbones. I'm like so aggressive on my face. We're just gonna go in and give ourselves like a little jawline. Yeah, I kind of like a full jawline reconstruction. Like, look at that. <laughs> Angles. I'm gonna go in with the uh, Benefit Hula Bronzer, and I have like the little mini travel one again because I'm poor. So I can afford, but this stuff is awesome. So I'm just gonna dip in with this really shitty, like falling apart brush. And we're gonna go in and just bronze up our face, warm it up. Just give yourself some nice warmth. And then I'm gonna dip in and I like to go over. I do not contour my nose. I just like to bronze it and then I just put highlighter here and here and I just, I personally like how that shows up on camera for me because anytime I like try to contour my nose like I end up looking like handsome Squidward and like not in a good way so I found this techniques works for me and I just dip it in brush it all over and then just highlight this high point like see where the light just naturally hits that I just highlight that and um 
we look pretty sister snatch. I hope we have that all done. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some blush and highlight. So I use the e.l.f. blush palette. I actually love this palette. Like even if I had money, like actually no, I lied. If I had money, like I'd definitely be buying like a really nice like Nars blush. But um, I honestly love this. Um, my favorite shade broke and just died. So I've been using the one underneath it and it's got like a nice shimmery tint. So I kind of mix these two and um, it gives you a really great color, really good peachy color. So I kind of just tap in between here, tap off the excess and then some and I put it on my nose and then I tap in a little bit and put it on my forehead. And I like to put on a lot of blush. Like I kind of want to look like I'm just embarrassed all the time. Because I'm most of the time I am because I'm doing something stupid. Okay. And after all that is done, I am going to go in with my banana setting powder. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this contour here. See, and you don't even need to contour. And then when you highlight here, like it literally looks like I spent like all this time like contouring my nose when I didn't. Imagine like if I went out in public like this, I was like, hi. How are you? It blends out pretty easily, so obviously we have this like really harsh, sharp line which looks terrible and then I just go in and blend out the edges and then I have like that nice contour there, it's like really sharp. Um, after everything's done, just because um, I'm a really fake bitch and I like to look super tan, I go in again with my bronzer. Like, I don't have a problem, like, like literally like bathing in self-tanner, like covering myself in bronzer. I'm like, oh, I'm not tan enough. I'm tweaking it out. So yeah, um, now that we have our face on, we're going to go ahead and highlight. Um, I use this um, Lancome. It's it's like a blush duo, but it has this like cream highlighter. And I usually hate cream highlighters, but it's a really great base. So I just kind of swirl my finger in it and tap it onto the skin. Um, and since it's like a cream base... Whenever I put the powder over top of it, I've noticed that it sticks so much better and it lasts like 10 times longer. And I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I like to use this shade right here. Do you see that? Like, hey cheek fillers, how are ya? brow bone blend it out I like it to look like I'm actually glowing like I want to look like I just was born as a glazed donut we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with this uh, Milani velvet lip in nude we're just gonna go with that lip liner today I definitely recommend wearing lip liner if you're going to an important event or like you want your lipstick to actually last I'm literally doing my full face makeup to go to Kroger, so I'm not too concerned about it lasting. Now that we have our face on, I'm going to go ahead and set everything. I'm using the MAC Fix Plus. It's the Prep and Prime. Um, this is in gold light. Um, my friend Anna, who is a makeup artist, gave me this for my birthday, and I cannot afford other setting sprays, though. <laughs> Guess we're just always going to be shimmery. Smells so good. Okay, and then um, after I set my face, I like to just go in and kind of just push that into the skin just so we look really nice and flawless. Really want my skin to just be like, oh. like I actually look like a glazed up. Look at that highlight. Oh my god, hold on. Come 
through. Literally, people are like, do you face tune your highlights? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just apply like 17 layers. Duh. <laughs> Now that we've got our face all set, looking nice and uh, looking nice and dewy. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, my Lily Lashes in Style Miami. Use code James for 10% off. <laughs> They're beautiful. This is not the box it came in. This is like another box, but I'm like, this one's prettier. So I'm going to put my expensive lashes in it because I'm dumb. Um, these lashes are definitely on their last leg. This is like their 15th wear, but like I refuse to give them up just because they are my Lily lashes. And like I do love them so much. And they were like $30. I mean, I didn't pay, like, I, it was a gift, but like, I'm like, these are expensive lashes. I'm like, these will last me until I die. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and curl the lashes. I only use duo lash glue, and I get the black because the white one can look just like really gross and crusty. It looks like you have like eye boogers, like all over your eye, and people are like, I'm like, it's my lash glue. Like, just stand a foot back and like, Pretend like you don't see it. Just pop them on. And now you can really see the difference in the lashes. Like, look at how like much more full this one is. And then this is like missing an entire section, but. We're not gonna give up on them. Kind of a little lash glue right there, but like, if you stand far back, you can't really notice, so. We're just gonna pretend like I didn't. So I am going in with my Benefit Roller Lash, and I'm just gonna do a couple coats. And just pop that under our eyes. And that completes this look glowy orangey like very like summer vibe that's that time to go to kroger and stunt on literally everyone